Today I'm testing out some mystery messed up riddles. It's gonna blow your mind away and test out your logic skills to tell you if you're smart or just a noob. A, B, C, D, what letter is missing? Bro, we ain't back in preschool. Come on, man, even the Moosecraft plushie can solve this right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what's goody? I'm starting a new series on the channel. I wanna start taking on at least a challenge per week, and very soon I'm gonna be moving over to my house in Texas, where we're gonna be vlogging, keeping 100. We're gonna have the Moose on me there, some new people, including my boy Shark and Unspeakable in the videos. So I'm very excited for the changes coming out very soon. So anyways, new series, let me know if we should make some more. We're gonna be just messing around with like different challenges, like online, let's say like the Trying to Get Satisfied challenge, or this challenge. This is kind of simple. Not E, A, B, C, D, F. Wait, 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 hold, hold on a second. Oh, okay, now I just feel stupid. Wait, what? A, B, C, D, F. Answer is F. I got it. Yes. Ta-da. Oh, yo, let's go. Okay, okay. Now I kind of feel like I was just, oh, I was just, you know, trying to play it too smart. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I got that one. I got that one. We got that one. For every time you miss one of these questions, you have to leave a like on this video. And if you already left a like, you gotta subscribe, slap the bell, join the Moose Army, because we're on the road to 2 million subs, and we're getting there very soon. All five sisters are busy. Rose is drawing and is cooking. Lizza is playing chess. And Nala over here is uh, just doing something. What is Samantha doing? Okay, so Rose is drawing, Anna is cooking, Liz is playing chess, Mary is doing a puzzle, Samantha is playing chess, yes, we got it, easy, no, nope, not bad at all, not bad, okay, that makes kind of sense. What number do you get when you multiply all of the numbers on a mobile's number pad? Zero, 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 because when you multiply zero, it's, that's it, zero, right, zero, one, zero, yes, got it, not bad, not bad, not bad, I was like thinking like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, yes, zero, that's it, what is your perspective regarding the condition, please write your answer in the comment box, number 10, a detective and the blacksmith brothers, okay. on a snowy winter night, the detective was resting in front of the fireplace, gotcha. suddenly, somebody threw a snowball at his window, Sam the next Peter day, Mark. a paper note was left on the detective's door, there it was written, question mark blacksmith. He threw the snowball. The detective knew immediately which brother to question. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on a second. It, it was probably Mark Blacksmith. My first guess is Sam, the second one's Mark. I think it was Mark, because he probably wrote his name last. Maybe? The symbol, question mark, yes! is called the question mark. Ah. So here we go. Question mark blacksmith. He threw the snowball. The school we kind of did these like in math class uh, like AP math class I was never in AP I was like in the I don't even remember what that was in school anymore <laughs> I have no clue bro a woman Long was time. staying in her hotel room when somebody knocked at the door when she Makes opened sense. it she saw an unknown man an unknown he looked man. surprised and said door. I apologize I, I thought apologize. it was my room. I she thought it was my room in the direction of the elevators the woman okay. however returned to the room and dialed security why was oh. she so suspicious? Shut up, like, savage. Like, you know what? Nah, bro. I don't care who you are. You went to the wrong room. I'm calling the cops. That's it, bro. We got a Karen. Have you already figured it out? Maybe she's the one that's breaking into his room or something. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. Why was she so suspicious? Um. A woman logically decided that if the man had thought that the room was his, he wouldn't have knocked. Such behavior is... Kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? It's one of those. It's typical for those criminals who break into hotel rooms and steal whatever they can. All right, fine, fine. We lose this one. Sure okay, come on. Inside. That's just like common sense, but all right, I get you. Suicide or murder? Ooh. A detective comes to a crime scene. Okay. A man is said to jump out of a window of an abandoned building and commit suicide. He continues until he has visited all the floors and repeated the action again and again. So then all he returns in the same spot? to his team and says that it was by no means a suicide. Smart. He's throwing an object and it's landing in the same exact spot on every single floor. So when it doesn't land in the same spot, I guess it's technically a murder, right? Huh? Ah, I feel kind of smart for this. <laughs> Let's get it, what do we got, what do we got? Everybody comment down below if you actually got these wrong or right, just let me know. Be honest, when be a honest, make sure the time stamps too. Jumping from a high floor, they don't tend to close the window behind them. But in this oh, case, none of the no windows way. which faced the dead man were left open. It means that there was somebody who closed them after the man died. I see what happened. So he's going up to the window. He's opening it, bro. That is so specific. Number Fine, seven. we lost two. Ice Number tea. seven, iced tea. Two young ladies were having dinner together. They okay. both ordered iced tea. Fuck the girl that. who was nursing her drink and drinking slowly died. The other stayed alive. Wait, wait, what? What? Wait, okay, never mind. <laughs> How is it possible that the girl who drank more survived? Strange case. 
Are you ready? All right, so maybe she just has a ready with the answer. <laughs> Drinking poison nonstop somehow prolongs the effect, maybe, and the help. I guess she dies slower because you have more poison. That doesn't make any sense. I think just because she has maybe immunity to it. The poison was contained in the ice. The ice in the tea of the girl who drank fast didn't have time to melt. But the ice cubes and all right, come on, bro. You're gonna blow my mind away right now. Are you kidding me right now? So the poison, the ice was in the poison, and because the other girl was just kind of sipping on it, and the ice melted, she instantly died. Now she drank so quickly, chugging it, the ice didn't melt. That doesn't make much sense. But all right, five, five, three. We lost. I'm kind of upset now. Mysterious death in the car. A man was found shot to death in his car. Oh, that's awful. The policemen were puzzled as there was no gunpowder on his clothes or anywhere else in the car. But all yes. the windows were closed, all the doors locked, and the only and the bullet, bullet hole was, was on, on the man's, man's body. body. Well, I mean, think about it this way. It is a soft top convertible, so and it looks like the person was shot from the back. So maybe they just shot it and it didn't hit the glass. So I went to the convertible and hit him. Maybe the top was down. The answer is actually quite simple. The car where the man had been killed was a convertible. When the fatal shot sounded, the roof was down. What did I say? You gotta hold the button or else it'll stop. It doesn't actually have that option where it fully goes automatic. I guess I'm going way too into detail. A woman was having breakfast at a nice restaurant. Okay. At one moment, she noticed a fly in her coffee. Ooh. She was indignant I would and made the that. waiter bring her another cup of the drink. Woo! You have brought me the same cup of coffee. How what? did she understand it? Perhaps the woman was a psychic? Probably because it has the same amount of liquid and maybe like she added something into it like cream or sugar. I mean, I see sugar on the table and pancakes, but I mean, I guess that kind of works. I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> this is so weird, bro. I don't understand. She had already put sugar in her previous cup of coffee. When she tried the new one, it was sweet. Okay, I kind of get how this, I, I kind of get how these riddles work. It has to be like very, very specific in the picture. So the picture usually gets Number four, for a man is accused oh, of man. killing his wife. His lawyer, in his final statement, declares that the wife of the man, in fact, hasn't been killed and will enter the courtroom in a minute. Everybody in the room, including what? the judge and the jury, turns and looks at the door. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. So this is the action while they're describing it. So for example, as you can see the three characters, they're all looking at the door and then the actual, uh, the, I guess the lawyer is not. Dude, these are kind of difficult. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like a breeze, but nah, the bro. The man who had been they got us wasn't here. looking at the door. Oh yeah, we got it, you see? wouldn't enter as he had killed her. You see, this is so specific because if you didn't see the actual picture, then, I mean, I guess you can still kind of get it. With Number the three, Fine, a, whatever. Case, of a, a smuggler. case of a smuggler. My man is waving his hat around. Okay, riding a bike, and that officer seems a little bit upset. So let's just say the action probably already happened, just like in the previous video. And all the time, video. they contain sand. Now, here's the thing they didn't really explain. Like, how did he get there first? Did he get on there without the bike or something? Like, what did he walk in with? He just, like, walked over with just bags? Is that it? What does he smuggle? Your time has started. Either the hat or the bicycle. But we don't know if he entered there without the bicycle. That's the thing. It doesn't, like, it's just, ah, okay, fine. We'll, we'll see what happens. Here we go. It was a hat. This creative individual distracts the custom officer's attention with the bags of sand. But in fact, he smuggles bicycles. Got it. All right. You see what I'm talking about, bro? It's just so specific in the video. But still, they didn't tell you if he went in there with the bicycle. A man killed so his wife in their car. Is. He used a knife, which he later threw away into an abyss. As soon as he got there, however, he was suspected for the murder. How did the police realize it had been him who was guilty? All right, so it's all in the video, okay? All right, so this is probably after. Did they send him a location? Did they send him a text or something? Like, is it, how specific are these riddles, dude? I'm gonna guess that they probably didn't send him the location that when he arrived, he automatically committed his own, uh, he committed the crime. I've seen this before in CSI. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's either that or maybe like they had fingerprints. Either fingerprints or probably that he just arrived and they're like, wait, how does this dude know the address? Well, that's kind of crazy. Could you imagine? It's like, wait, how did you get the address? The husband wasn't informed of the definite location of the crime scene. I see. Despite we that, got it. We got that one. to the right place. Wow, that's crazy. Widows that make you'll think. Here we go. To pass the test, at least you must answer four questions correctly. I follow you by day, by night, I blend right in, but no one sees me except when I'm in the light. What am I? Okay, so a shadow? Yeah, it's a shadow. It follows you, so it's a shadow. And we got him. I've heard this one before, Loki. <laughs> now I'm trying to spoil it. I did hear that one before. 
I'm used to bat with, yet I never get hit. I am near a ball, near a ball, yet it is never thrown. What am I? So, is it the baseball glove? This might not be, okay, so it's talking about near a ball. Uh, jeez, uh, near a ball, near a ball. Your eyeball, your eyeball, or a baseball bat, or a glove, or maybe your eyebrows, or your nose, your mouth, I don't know, bro. What is it talking about? Is it talking about sports, or is it talking about a human body? <laughs> Maybe it's like eyeballs or something. I'm near a ball. Uh, eye eyebrows. Your eyelashes. That were pretty close. Someone makes sense. You used to bat with what? I am a king who measures things quite well. What am I? Measure tape or ruler? Probably a ruler because it says quite well. So that means that it has to be perfect. That doesn't change. It measures things. Hey, we got it. Nice, nice. Okay, what's next? Number four. What sweets do geologists like? Rock candy. Ah, I see what you did there. Geologists like rock candy. That's pretty cool. What goes up when rain comes down? Umbrella. Boom. Umbrella. You open it up. That's it. Either that or it's got to be the hat thing. No, that doesn't make sense. It's probably an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> A raincoat. <laughs> Another one. Let's go. Number six. Okay, so if we get this one right, then we win. I am pink and I can think, what am I? The brain. A brain! Yeah, we got it! Oh, it's number seven. Hold on a second. What can run but never walks, has a mouth but never talks, has a bed but never sleeps, has a head but never weeps? All right, no clue. No clue. That's a hard one. That's a very difficult one. It is... What? A river? A river runs, has a mouth when it meets into the sea, has a riverbed, and has a head and is at, at its mouth. Okay, all right. I want to forget about it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you beat this challenge... Comment down below, tell me the truth. How many questions did you get right and how many did you get wrong? Share this video with your friends and family and go ahead and see if your friends can actually take on this challenge and possibly win. I'll see you tomorrow in a video and always keep it 100. Woo!